Talon with Old Guy Stuff on Busy Corner Lane. And this video is going to be about how I um, try to efficiently farm the dragons in Breath of the Wild. Now, a shout out at the beginning to WTF Gaming. I watched a video that they had where they recommend using dragon horns or the shards of dragon horns uh, as a menu item when they're cooking to make the effects of what you're cooking for last longer. They can, you can last up to 30 minutes for your effects. So, uh, shout out to that. Um, that person got some really, really good videos. Okay, so this one is how I get the dragon parts. And it doesn't have to be horns. I'm just doing horns in this one. So, I'm going to start out at the Magnora Shrine. There are many places you can do these dragons. Uh, I find these to be the best ones for me. And what will happen is uh, the dragon will actually come in at the area above the Forgotten Temple. And, and fly right through that valley area and get low enough that we can get an attack on them. Okay, you're going to want to take and turn this to nighttime. Now, usually this dragon will show up at midnight or just after midnight. Uh, two times I've had the dragon show up at 930 but that's um, not always going to happen. So I'm going for midnight on this. So I realize I have about uh, three minutes of real life time. And I'm going for the star. I don't have to really try to go too fast. So I'm not actually running. Um, but you want to make sure that you're equipped for um, thunder. Because sometimes it'll start raining. And you'll get thunder strikes. And you also want to watch out for, since it's nighttime, uh, style monsters, especially the Bokoblins, will show up. Now, I could be using Majora's Mask, but I'm not because some people don't have the DLC and they're not going to get Majora's Mask. So I got this uh, Bokoblin Mask from Kilton. Okay, right about midnight, Denril showed up. I paused it for a minute so he could get closer without you having to just watch him, you know, approach. So I'll just double tap X to get airborne on the updraft. I'll aim, take a shot at the horn, and then I'll double tap X again so my stamina will go back to 100%. I will turn my body at the time to watch where the shard goes, and then I'll just drip down to get it. Uh, this is the, one of the few times I've actually been hit by that fire. Um, normally I'm more careful. Okay, so from here... Um, I'm going to show you a place that I normally go. I normally go to Lake Tower and from there drift down to this gateway uh, at the beginning of the bridge. Um, and that's what I used to do. But lately, I've not been seeing uh, Feroche there. So I'm going to go to this shrine. And if you have uh, a, a horse, I would put him right outside the shrine. If you've got the uh, ancient... Uh, horse gear so that you can teleport the horse. You can just teleport him over. Otherwise, I'd leave him here in advance. And that way, I can run over to the middle part of the bridge. This is where Ferocious is going to uh, fly the lowest and enable us to get a good shot at that horn or whatever body part we need. And while I'm over here, I'm going to change to uh, the full thunder or uh, lightning or thunderproof armor. Um, just because I've been hit by the lightning before. And I'm in no danger of being attacked by a Bokoblin on this bridge. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to pause it. So you don't have to just watch the whole approach. Double tap X on the updraft. Glide on over. Get a shot on the horn. Double tap X again. And then I'll watch where this goes. Because there's about three or four places that this can go. And if I don't watch, uh, sometimes it's just difficult for me to find it. So I'm going to glide over here. Um, try not to have to swim too far because I just take up more time as I just did right there. <clears throat> Fell down a little early. Then I'm going to teleport over here to the east. Now, where I have this star, I normally like to put a travel medallion. But I have noticed if I put a travel medallion there... Uh, Nadra does not show up. And there's a couple other ways to go about this too. Um, I can 
go to the shrine um, in the mountains where you first find Nadra and paraglide down. But the problem with that is it just takes a, quite a long time and you might not get there in time. And the other um, thing is there's a bridge where there's a Lionel and a Henox. And you can go over there to do this, but there's no shrine close by. So it'll take uh, uh, quite some time just to get over in an area where Nadra is going to be swooping down. So what I do in that area, I'm just going to be farming Nadra. I'd make a fire, tell it to go to nighttime, and then when Nadra shows up, get it, make another fire, tell it to go to nighttime, and just do it over and over. Okay, I changed to the Lizalfo mask because the only monsters that are really going to attack me here are Lizalfos and Octoroks, but none of the masks work on Octoroks. Anyways, it don't matter. Now, the great thing is you'll automatically see Nadra if you didn't use the... Um, the travel medallion. I want to get about to the middle where Nadra is going to be swooping down low. So after I change to my unfreezable armor, this is my favorite armor for uh, appearance, just so you know. Make a couple ice blocks and get close, and I'm just going to wait. Now, if all this works fast enough, you can actually get five dragon horns before you have to put another fire and sit by the fire uh, on this one i'm only going to get three and that's just because some of it has gone a little slow on this particular run but i'll get a minimum of three the most i've ever gotten is five quite often i'll get four okay double tap on the updraft hit the horn double tap again watch where it goes and then glide over to it now, from here, I'm going to go back to my starting point where Denroll was. And if I'm lucky, I will see Denroll again. But I have to get there before 5 a.m. And that's not really going to happen, but I did try anyway. Um, but I'm not actually going to make it in the next five seconds. So. <laughs> and so that's not going to happen. But I will get a minimum of three every time I do this. So if I need horns or... Uh, or scales or claws or what have you then um, this is a pretty efficient way to do it there are other places you can get these dragons uh, but I find this works good for me so this is what I do I hope this video helps people uh, have a safe happy peaceful wonderful day and goodbye